for the love of horses and dogs. World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida is the place to go. And it's free. Let's go down that road. We're here. There you go, you got the address and everything. We are at the World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida. And it's free. This place is massive. Oh my goodness. We're trying to figure out where to park. We know we're gonna do a lot of walking and we wore our comfy walking shoes today. Spectator parking, that must be where we're supposed to be. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we just had the most spectacular day at the World Equestrian Center in Ocala, Florida. Boy, wear your walking shoes. It's a busy place. Unless you can get a ride with somebody on a on a golf cart like we did to get to one thing. There are not only horse competitions and trainings here, but there's also dog trainings and dog competitions. So there's really a lot of things to see and do. And it's all free, except for the main ones. Some of the indoor ones are not. There are 11 barns. Correct. There are, I gotta keep this straight, five indoor arenas and 16 outdoor arenas. This place is massive and trying to find your way back to your truck at the end of the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we're on the right road. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna show you what we did today. It was awesome and hope you enjoy. Yeah. And a map. Oh my gosh. So many barns, expo centers, grand outdoor arena. We are somewhere down here. <laughs> or maybe we're down here, I'm not sure which one we came in. I think we're in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're gonna be doing a lot of walking. This is where they train horses, they have competitions. All right. Let's explore the hotel. The Grand Hotel is something else. That's straight ahead. This is Staff Sergeant Reckless, 1948 to 1968, 5th Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. Somebody's here from Iowa. There's shaded areas over there to sit. I guess they're all shaded, aren't they? Oh, she's jumping, though. How cool. I wish I'd gotten that. This one is from Georgia.
getting a ride on a golf cart. <laughs> Whee! They also show dogs here for competitions. There's one that looks like it's part border collie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Aww. The farmer's dog. So it's got to be border collies in this one, right? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi, honey. Hi. You're getting excited to go race, aren't you? The dog that we were just talking, the dog owner that we were just <laughs> talking to, um, the dog was part Border Collie and part Whippet and had just competed. So we're going to see what other competitions there are. They just finished setting up the next part here. The other ones use some kind of a pole or something and these are using Little, like cardboard or something to hold them in between that they'll be jumping over. There's the big cameras. <laughs> Where'd the treat go? The treat <laughs> fell. The treat fell. <laughs>
running and grabbing a ball out of there, taking the ball back over there to the other end, and then running back again. And then these people were restocking the ball, and then take another one. Oh my god. Smart dogs. was a lot of fun we we were noticing that the the owners really enjoy their dogs and really love their dogs anybody could come up to any of the dogs they all just love people there's a lot to see and this place closes at four so we're gonna go and see another competition over here there are several outdoor arenas some people are just practicing some are warming up some are training and some are competing. I'm thinking since they have the uniforms on and the numbers that these are competing. Let's go check it out. Okay, they showed a walk just now when I shut the camera off, and now they're doing a canter. She's carrying ribbons.
They even have a chapel here and they have services on Sundays. Each service is 20 minutes. You're so cute. Hello. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. Did you do running today? Did you win a competition? Huh? Did you get in competition too? <laughs> so cute. Oh, and a little pug. Hello, puggy. Hi, puggy. Hi, honey. <laughs> you can always rent a golf cart if you need to. And there are plenty of them around. There's another hotel going up over there. It's almost as wide as it is long. We went by on the other side. I could not believe it, the size of that. They had these available at one of the food places we went into. She said, take one. And then we were in the chapel and they had them there too and said, take one. So Gary and I each got one. We're gonna gift one to someone else. They're made from olive wood in Bethlehem. We made it back. We weren't sure we could find the truck. <laughs> but we finally got back and hope you enjoyed that. Oh my gosh, it was just awesome to be here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And then hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos from us. Check out our Facebook page for more things that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God bless. Yeah,